What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. And today, I'm gonna talk to you about a missing mom um, who, was, who was reported missing Wednesday, August 17th. Well, she was found, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. The body of a Hoboken mom who went missing last week was apparently found at a Jersey City motel, according to those who knew her and at Hudson County View. Kalia Cologne was reported missing on Wednesday. Now, if I'm not pronouncing her name correctly, please forgive me and let me know in the comment section. Um, I will call her Miss Cologne from here on out, okay? I don't want to mispronounce anyone's name. Now, she was reported missing Wednesday, August 17th. A body was found at the Skyway Motel in Jersey City and was believed to be that of Miss Cologne. A, spokes, a spokesperson for the Jersey City Police Department did not immediately respond to the Daily's Voice request for comment placed on Monday, August 22nd. Now, Ms. Cologne, a mom and longtime advocate for the Hoboken Housing Authority, had dozens of Facebook tributes rolling in for her. And as you can see here, so many people had, you know, posting heartfelt messages and stuff. But my thing is, I hope they found out if somebody was with her there. Um, because it sounds like some type of foul play. Why would she be there? Why would she be at the Skyway Motel by herself? You know? So I really hope that a full investigation will happen. Especially if this is out of her character. You know? So here are some of the tributes that were said. You were a help to me when I first started advocating for HHA residents. I am in shock and I am very saddened by your death. You were a strong woman who did what she had to do for herself and her family. I will miss you dearly. Rest in peace, my friend. And her friend named Adrian Rawlins have put that out there. As a community, we should honor her legacy by living the imprint she left behind and fight for the cause she stood up for. I will always be grateful for protect, protecting me from bullying when I was a child, for being in support of my public life and building your own public life as a community leader. Miss Cologne, I will never forget you. Rest well. And a guy named Omar Dwyer wrote that. Fourth Ward Councilman Ruben Ramos said that he's known Cologne and her family for as far back as he can remember and offered his sincere condolences to her mother, grandmother, aunts, cousins, and friends during this difficult time. She was outspoken, fought hard for her community, involved in, house, in the housing authority, and loved her family. We we're all really sad and shocked by this. The councilman said over the phone this afternoon. On Saturday morning, family members began sharing a Facebook post that says she had been missing since Wednesday and an attached photo of a man they believe had taken her. Now, authorities said they had not made any arrests in her connection to her death at this time. So if her family posted on Facebook, okay, a picture of the guy that they believe had taken her, then I really hope the police has information leading to that person. I hope they find him, question him. Something, they have to have something on video. There's CCTVs out there in those streets, depending on, you know, which way they were, which way they came into the hotel. The hotel got to have video footage, okay? But, you know, there's some evil people out here in this world. And this is just sad. You know what I'm saying? Miss Cologne was a mom. She was a sister. She was a granddaughter. She was a cousin, an aunt, a friend. You know? So why would somebody want to do this to her? And nothing but good things are being posted about her. Nothing but good things. She has helped people within the community. She was very outspoken. 
And it's really good to see that people have so much good things to say about her. But why would somebody want to be so evil and take her away from her family and her children? Why would somebody want to do that? So I really hope they find the person that did this to her. You know, it's just really, really sad that this stuff keeps going on and on and on. And I'm really glad that this was put out there. But it needs to be out there on more news outlets. Okay? Yes, it happened in New Jersey. Jersey City, it happened there. But this needs to be out there more. Push it out there because this same situation that happened to Miss Cologne could happen to somebody else somewhere else. And they posted the picture on Facebook of the guy that had that possibly could have taken her. So that's a good step. That's a big jump right there for the police to look into. You know, so I want to send my prayers and condolences to her family. This is absolutely sad. This is sad. When is this stuff going to stop? You know? Oh, my goodness. Well, when I find out more about the person that the family had posted on Facebook about, if any more information come up, whether it's an arrest or whatever, I will let you guys know. But please, keep her family in your prayers. Okay? Post, you know, at the, in the comment section, prayer hands and hearts. Let them know somebody out there is speaking out and getting her story out there. This is absolutely sad. And it's a beautiful thing that people post so much good things about her, but yet they are hurting because this is someone who was strong and was an advocate, you know, spoke up for everybody and lived in the community. And this person was murdered. The people that she had, you know, really good connections to, you know how bad they are hurting right now along with her family. And then somebody... Wants to take her life. I really do hope they find the person that's responsible for this. I really do. I really hope they find the person that's responsible for Miss Cologne's murder. All right, you guys. I will talk to you later. If I find out any more information later on about you know this case, I will update you. Okay. You guys, like I said, send prayers and condolences to the family, and we'll talk soon.